everybody it's me again <laughs> welcome back to my channel and for those of you who don't know I'm Tina hi <laughs> anyways we're gonna do a really quick simple DIY today we're gonna make a little plant holder and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little bit of ribbon any color ribbon you want this is some sticky ribbon that um, I got at Walmart and it already has the adhesive on it so it makes it very simple or you can get ribbon at the dollar store you know what, whatever your preference is you're gonna need beads yeah, I got see if I can show them to you yeah, I got these beads here let me pick one up see it's just these beads and they have a flat back it don't matter they can be round too um, but yeah you're gonna need these uh, glass beads is that what they're called glass gems yeah, you're going to need a whole bunch of them. But, um, yeah, you can, you know, this is the size I had. It came in this pouch at the, um, the, um Dollar General's where I got these ones. But they also sell them at the Dollar, um, Dollar Tree. Yeah, they also sell them there. You're going to need a little votive holder. I got this one at the, um, Dollar Tree. And, you know, any, I have this one too. You, I mean, any kind of candle holder you want to get. And you're going to need a bunch of flowers. I'm going to be using these ones. I just cut the cut them off and I secured them with a rubber band. And you're going to need some little, um, you know, little accents. I mean, these are optional. You don't need to add these. And what we're going to do with these, is, I'm turning you around, is I'm just going to put them right on here. See, it's just like that. And I'll put the other one on this side. See, like that. Isn't that cute? Um, first, I'm going to show you how to do the ribbon. Yeah, they're not going to be sticky anymore. So I'm just going to take this ribbon off, show you what I did. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to anywhere on the, the bowl you want to start. But you're just going to take some um, ribbon and you're going to you're going to start it at the top because you're going to want because since it's round, it's not going to go right around it. It's going to automatically want to go down to this side. So. You're going to want to do that and then you're going to want to go straight to the other side and do the exact same thing with the other piece of ribbon until they connect and that's pretty much all you do and as you can see mine's not perfect and as i always said nothing's perfect in my house and neither will this be <laughs> so yeah and then you're gonna connect your little thingies or don't as i said again it's you know totally optional i'll have to reapply these thingies with some tacky glue or something because yeah, I keep retaining. I've been, I've tried like, I had this wonderful idea in my brain, and um, so I did it with this candy dish, and it was really, I didn't like. I'll post a picture of what my first idea was, you know, with movie magic. I'll edit it in so you, can, you can see, and then you can laugh. <laughs> And so um, I was like, no, 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 that looks terrible. So I was like, okay, I have to come up with a better idea. And so I tried it something else, which was similar to the first one. And I'll post a picture of that one too, right here. To show you my second idea, which it was better, but still not what I wanted. And so finally I came up with this idea. And so... I think this one's the best, but yeah, these things aren't staying on, which is fine. I'll um, glue them on later, but I just wanted to put them on to show you what I what idea I had with that. Yeah, you're going to take your little um, candlestick or, you know, something that you're going to put your flowers in, you see, like that. Yeah, so make sure your flowers sit in there nicely, too, before you go to all this trouble and you find out, oh, the flowers ain't working. <laughs> So yeah, so you're going to take it and you're going to put it right inside the bowl. See, let me bring you right down to me. Come on down. So you can see me, what I'm doing. I got beads all over the table. So you're going to want to get it centered. You don't have to glue it in or anything special like that. I mean, the only kind of glue you would need is maybe for the, the um, tape for this part. If you don't have the self-adhesive kind. And probably just some tacky glue would take care of that, or a glue gun, whichever way you want to do it. But pretty much what we're going to do now is, this is the fun part, is we're just going to drop these things into this bowl thingy. And you're going to want to um, kind of be moving the little thingy around inside to make sure they get in there. 
But you know, once you get it higher up, it'll it'll hold that thing in place where you want it to be. So it's not gonna be a big deal. But yeah, I'm gonna just continue on putting in these little glass beads until this um, fish bowl is completely full. I mean, you could also, you know, like affix one of these things to the side like that if you wanted to. You know, let your imagination take hold. I mean, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. And of course, you can use any number of different colors for this as well. I'm using the purple thingy because I'm using the purple beads. So you, if you do see through the beads, you'll see the purple thing. So it's not going to make a difference. And as you can see, it will start holding that vase in place. So now would be the time to make sure you have exactly where you want it. Because once those beads in place, you ain't going to be able to move that thing. And I think I'm happy with exactly where I got it. And if you want to add it all up on how much it's going to cost... I mean, you can get ribbon at the dollar store. So there's one. The beads were a dollar. Well, I'm not sure how much I spent for them at the Dollar General, but I know they do sell them at Dollar Tree. So you might need two bags from the Dollar Tree because I do think you pay for more, um, you get less. So you might definitely need to uh, buy two. But Or you can just go to Dollar General and buy them there like I did. And they have a lot better colors at Dollar General. I think all they had at um, the Dollar Tree was like blue and green and then an assortment of colors, but they weren't, they weren't, they were like blue and green together. That's pretty much all they had. And if you want something that's, don't come out, if you want something that's not blue and green, then you're going to want to take it to Dollar General. Because they definitely have a better variety. And you're just now we're just filling in the little pieces that don't have any in it. I'm just gonna see it pretty much, it's pretty much full. And oh, I think I've, I don't want to break it, so that's fine if it goes up a little bit. I don't care. Because the flowers will be covering it. And then we'll just drop our flowers in. Let's put one of these beads on there. Hopefully it'll stay. For the picture at least. Yeah, let's put that on there. There, like that. See? Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. Yeah. See, and that's, that's it. All of ten minutes it took to, to make that. Beautiful. I mean, perfect to put in your bathroom, on your table. That's where mine's going. It's going to be a centerpiece on my table. I think it's pretty. You know, you could, and of course, you know, you could buy flowers pretty much anywhere. These are ones I bought at um, Family Dollar a year or two ago. I think they're adorable. But, but yeah, that is it. That's my DIY on how to make my little candle holder. Not candle holder. Flower. It was supposed to be a candle holder, but now it's a flower pot. But yeah. Isn't that cute? My little flower pot. But yeah. But anyways, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And here's going to be my picture, so click on it. Click on if you haven't subscribed yet because I post videos every day. You don't want to miss it. Until next time. Bye.